Everyone who's watching this who's smart would know that I should be wearing gloves right now. Don't come for my ashy hands. Do not come for me. $438 from the dealership. I was able to get that donor door for $100. Big bonus there. I'm glad I went to Brooklyn to get these donor doors. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You mean I didn't break it? Hey, Project Fam. This is a continuation video from my last video. If you didn't see it, check it out right here. All right, I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to go back into installing the door. On my last video, I was telling you about the score. So when I got the donor door for 100, I was able to take off the molding from the donor door. That's on the table there, the black door. And the two main pieces of molding that I needed uh, actually cost a total of $438 from the dealership. I was able to get that donor door for $100. Uh, bonus for the donor door because it also has a window motor that I can take out. And then I can sell the door itself back to someone else for $100 after I strip it. So big bonus there. I'm glad I went to Brooklyn to get these donor doors. I actually got that. So I went and I bought some clips to hold that weather stripping into the side of the uh, around the uh, the door and I'm going to test the strips in the donor door to see if they fit in the donor door. Mm, they're not identical. Mm. And that's my fault. I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I think those clips cost like 2 or 3 dollars each and that package I bought was like 3 dollars or 4 dollars so when I push it in, it's huh, it's not tight at all. Like I really don't like it. As a matter of fact, not that I don't like it, it just will it will not work. So I might have to either take my time and pull these out to see. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You mean I didn't break it? Yo. So if I can take these out without breaking it, then I can reuse them and just have to figure out about the ones that I broke, how to replace those. That would save me a ton of money. So good. The donor door comes in handy again. At one point, I'm probably going to make a video just about the donor door to talk about how much money this donor door has saved me. So I'm going to take all these clips out the donor door. I'm going to be really careful not to break anymore because uh, I really don't have any replacements. Yeah, some of them come out really easy. Uh, some kind of fight me a little bit, but I cannot break them. I can't break anymore because I really don't have any replacements. I'm kind of digging this table and this uh, moving cloth that I picked up from uh, Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight had a sale. So now I have a new workspace and now I can kind of sit down. I can take my time and do my work at another bench. There, there it goes. I was able to salvage uh, a lot of those little clips. Now I'm sliding that top molding into place. Yeah, it's a little challenge, but I'm trying not to give it lubrication because you want a press fit. You want a good solid seal. Um, I will use some glue. Am I using glue? No, no, no glue on. Yeah, actually, there is a little bit of glue in my right hand is. There'll be some weather stripping glue that goes on that end, so we'll hold it in place. But I don't want to use any 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 lubrication to help slide this thing in. So I'm just taking my time and pushing it in. It's not that easy, but it takes time. You gotta be patient. So the really good thing is I was able to get this off the donor door. So I know exactly how to how it's installed. I know exactly how far it needs to go. Uh, I'll know if I need to add any type of weather stripping uh, adhesive to it because I took it off the door a little while ago. And that's the other thing. I just took it off and I didn't really waste any time between taking it off one part and putting it on another. I need to push it. I'm trying to be gentle. I think I have a mallet in the drawer I'll probably use later for a lot of things on this car, this project. But it's going on slowly but surely. So when I can put it on, uh, I'll notice that all I have to do is tuck in this little piece toward the end and uh, it'll be done like good job. 
so after about 30 minutes of just pulling and pushing and pulling and pushing i think i have it in place now so i'll tuck the end in and if that fits nice and snug then i'll be able to start snapping that weather stripping around the side of the door in those holes so after those clips are in place then you loop that weather stripping around those clips it almost reminds me of putting a button hole through a shirt you know when you put a button through a shirt that's kind of how it is when you uh loop that weather stripping around those clips all right light bulb just went off i'm glad i only put three of those clips in because it'll be a whole lot easier if i put the clips on to the weather stripping first and then i can just push the weather stripping into the door so now i have to go and take these clips out um without breaking them and you know if you wonder why these projects take so long because i don't have instructions i'm kind of figuring out the best way to do these things as i do it yeah that clip fit nice and snug in there that was pretty nice it's kind of hard to get way up there if I were thinking, I would have put these clips in before squeezing this weather stripping onto the top of the door. But I wasn't. But uh, I'll know better for next time. So when I do the other side, it'll be a really a whole lot easier because I'll know exactly what I need to do and I'll have a process to do it as well. Now all I have to do is just snap the weather stripping into place very easy so made a whole lot of sense I almost wonder if the clips actually come with the weather stripping now why that cost was 200 and what was it 262 dollars maybe the clips came with the weather stripping I don't know but that would make things a whole lot easier all right so I'll finish doing this So it was on this end that I had some weather strip adhesive. So I picked up some glue, basically, and I will glue the top down and install that into place. Maybe just put some tape, some uh, masking tape to hold it in place while it dries. Everyone who's watching this who's smart would know that I should be wearing gloves right now. Right now is the time to wear gloves. That glue is going to make a mess. I already know it. The only good news is I have those microfiber cloths on the table and I'll be able to wipe my hands or wipe up the door pretty quickly. So push it into place really hard. There's an indentation where the old molding was so I can kind of see where the new one belongs. And there's also a little pin that I also have to push inside a hole in the door. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get it right into place. If you recall, I already had this one installed, but I had to take it up because the weather stripping that goes around the door actually sits beneath this one there i am trying my luck oh boy i'm gonna make a mess with the glue i know i am and then i'm gonna have to get that glue off of the paint of the car challenge 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 so i'm not gonna hold this thing in place while it dries but at the very least, I want to push it down as hard as I can and wipe up any excess now before it dries. And I'll put some tape over it. Don't come for my ashy hands. Do not come for me. <laughs> I'll try using some masking tape to hold this in place. Maybe if I put a few different strips down, it'll hold it in place. But the masking tape is definitely not strong and i need to apply pressure to this weather stripping if i want this glue to cure the right way if i want this weather stripping to fit the right way 
after the glue, the glue cures. While that's drying, now I can take those clips that I salvaged off the donor door and put them in the weather stripping on the back side of the door so I could then clip all that into place. I can't believe I'm spending all day working on weather stripping. Actually, I can because it's a it's a process. It's a slow project. It's not something that I can move out in one day. Uh, it's it's a learning project. It's a learning process, and it's a lot of fun. Edutainment for show. That wasn't too bad. Nice. Was not too bad. So I, I hope this process helps someone else to uh, work on their project or replace weather stripping. Or if someone is replacing the door and it doesn't have the stripping. So I hope it helped out. And I'm going to end this video. This video is all about the strip. It was all about the weather stripping and uh mission accomplished just on this side i'm not going to show you the other side just assume that that side was done thank you again for watching this was a really fun video and again just like hip-hop yo this is a wrap